Hey guys, this is Swati from Edureka and in this session I'm going to talk about talent architecture. As you all might know, talent is a software integration vendor which provides wide range of software and services. Without any delay, let's move ahead and see what all topics are there in today's list. So, I will start off by giving you a short brief on talent followed by its various products. Then, we will tear up the Talent Open Studio to see its internal architecture which makes talent efficient yet user friendly. Finally, we will see the functional architecture of talent because of which it can identify and correspond to our various needs. So, let's get started. But before I talk about talent architecture, you must know what talent actually is. So, let me begin by giving you a short brief on talent. As I have already mentioned, talent is an open source software integration platform. According to the Gartner Magic Quadrant, talent is considered to be a global leader in big data and cloud integration solutions. It provides various software and services for big data, cloud integration, data management, and many more. Not only this, the current version of Talent can process the data up to seven times faster and that too in the one fifth of the original cost as compared to the previous versions. On top of this, Talent tools act as code generator. That is when you create a job or a business model at its GUI at the back end, Talent automatically converts all the underlying programs in Java. And the best part about Talent is that all its products are considered to be future-proof. By future-proof, I mean Talent is comprised of everything that you might need today as well as in future to meet the marketing requirements. So it's very less likely to go out of the market anytime soon. And because of this, more and more companies are using Talent nowadays. And as a result, Talent holds up to 19.3% of total market share. Since its origin in 2006 until date, it has launched a wide range of products. Let's take a look at some of its main products. So let's begin by checking out the list of its enterprise products. The enterprise products include talent tool for big data, data integration, data preparation, and cloud integration. As they are all licensed, you need to buy them before you can download or use them. Moving on, let's see its open sourced products, which are more popularly known as talent open studios. There are various talent open studios of label like for big data, data integration, data preparation, metadata, data quality and ESV. Finally, let's see the platforms available by talent. So talent provide platforms for big data, real time big data, data preparation, MDM, data management, cloud integration, data services, metadata manager. Among all these products, talent open studios are most popularly used. The reason behind they are free of cost and anyone can download and start using it right away. Moreover, if you like the product, you can go ahead and buy its enterprise version, which will obviously come with some of the additional features as compared to the open sourced version. Now that you have the basic idea of what talent is and what are the various products available by talent, let's now take a look at the internal architecture of the talent open studios, which are most commonly used. Now, if you see here, this is the basic representation of the talent open studio, which shows how jobs are executed at the back end. As we already know, talent provides an extremely user friendly GUI where all we need to do is drag and drop the components to create a job or a business model. All these jobs and business models are stored in an XML format in talent open studio. Now, whenever you execute the jobs, they will be converted into Java codes and the business models will be converted into Perl codes at the back end by code generator. I hope this gives you a better understanding of Talent Open Studio. So now let's look at the bigger picture to check out its functional architecture. Talent's functional architecture enables it to identify the various functions and then interact and correspond to the different IT needs. If you see here, I have divided the entire architecture into three functional blocks which are color coded. Let's see the functioning of each of these blocks one by one. The first block is responsible for the building and administration of jobs. As you can see, this block includes one or more Talent Open Studio APIs and web browsers. From here, end users can easily carry out the jobs like data integration, data services and many more. Talent Studio allows the user to work on any project for which he has the authorization. What I mean is you need a proper authorization to access any job from the Talent Open Studio or the Talent Studios. Also, the end users can connect to a remotely based administration center using a secured HTTP protocol from a web browser. Moving on to the next block. This block includes a web based administration center, which is the application server that is connected to 
two shared repositories. One will be based on SVN server and the other one will be based on DW server. The administration center enables the management and administration of all projects. The administration metadata like user accounts, access rights and the project authorization is stored in DW server. Whereas the project metadata like jobs, business models, routines and so on are stored in the SVN server which makes it easy to share them between different end users. The last block is responsible for the deploying and execution of jobs. Now this block represents the execution servers that run the technical processes or which we more commonly call jobs. One or more job servers can be deployed inside your information system. They run the jobs according to the scheduled time or date or the events that are set inside the talent administration center web application. Moreover, the end user can easily transfer any of the job to a remote execution server directly from the studio. So this is how a job is executed in talent. So with this, we come to the end of the session on talent architecture. Hope it was informative. Thank you and have a nice day. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!